Hello, so this is just a quick video to show the Google Coal Accelerator that I got through the post the other day. And um, it comes in a box like this. I'm sure there have been loads of other unboxings online, so I'd already opened mine, but you get this uh, little uh, booklet with a few basic details in. And then the coral is in here, uh, this is it on the left, and it comes with a cable which I've got plugged in as well. So um, the device itself is pretty small actually, I, I knew the dimensions online, um, but it's actually, you know, it's pretty thin. Uh, this front bit is metal for cooling, but the rest of it, it's a plastic case. And you can see on the back, you can sort of see through the translucent section, you can see the uh, some of the circuit boards. There's a little LED here that lights up when it's powered on, and when it's doing inference, that will then flash as well, so you get a sense that it's active. And it's plugged in via the uh, USB-C at the end here. So um, it comes with a USB-C connector, and I've got that plugged into the Raspberry Pi already. So uh, this is um, perhaps the hard part of my video because I'm doing this holding the camera. So hopefully I can get this plugged in at the same time. Um, let's see if I can do that there. All right. So that's plugged in. Um, the Raspberry Pi here has a um, has a Pi TFT uh, screen on it, so you can actually see the results directly on here. And uh, then it's got a Raspberry Pi camera as well, uh, and it's powered by a battery. Uh, there's obviously no need to do that for yourself. It's just done somewhere I'm playing around with. So I shall plug it in and explain a bit about the demo. So this is it. It's going to start booting up now, and uh, what I I'm doing is just using one of the one of the built-in uh, models that they supply with it. The demo um, section of their website has has all the details about how to install it, and then you can just point the camera at things, and it will recognise what it sees. So it gives you its best guess. So I've got together a bunch of random things that I knew it would recognise. I sort of cherry picked them slightly: a mouse, a coffee mug, and um, a, a can opener. So in a moment, the uh, the screen's going to uh, load up, and I just have to. Just have to sort of change directory to the yeah there you go it's loaded up here so just have to change directory to where the demo is um, which is here and I get the right command uh, so this is all online and we can do that and it's going to take a moment to start uh, you can see the LED was already on actually um, but when, once it gets going it's going to start flashing and it will draw there it's actually the camera is facing down right now so it's actually not seeing anything at all but um, it's flashing because it's trying to do recognition. And then I can just point it at something. So let's see if I can do this in a way that keeps the camera screen. Yeah, so there we go. If I put that there, mouse, computer mouse. And it's doing it every 13 milliseconds, and it's fairly confident in this sort of 70s, 80s, and 90s that that's a mouse. And then if I move this over, um, I think it's saying coffee mug. If, yeah, there you go, it says coffee mug. So you can see that. And then... Uh, if I move it over here a bit more, it does get a bit confused, but tin opener, it was sort of, yeah, can opener. Um, there, this one is a little harder for it to, to recognise. It might help if I also make the camera level. I will actually I'll just bring that over a bit more just so it's closer. And then, um, just like something from Blue Peter, it's, uh, it's typical it's going to go wrong right at the end when I've tested it already. There you go, can opener. Uh, there and it's the confidence on that one is actually quite a lot lower, so it must be that that it may be something in the background it's also seeing or something in the foreground. So yeah, that's helped a bit already. It's jumped up a bit. So so that's the demo. Um, you can you can download it yourself. Uh, there's actually an article that has the basically the same details and a few more bits of electronics that you can use. Uh, an article that's online in the Magpie, which is the um, Raspberry Pi official magazine. Um, I don't know if it's official, but it's it's on their site. So um yeah, so take a look at that and um yeah, I hope you enjoy it. All right.